guys, Johnny Sports Talk here, back with you. It's been a while since I made a video, but for some reason, I just can't put down my drug, and that's the Philadelphia Eagles and football. With this crazy but exciting offseason we had so far, we finally are at the climax. We are headed to the NFL Draft. It is fastly approaching, and there has been a lot of rumors and speculation going on with our Philadelphia Eagles. So if you haven't heard already, the Philadelphia Eagles have been in a lot of rumors and speculation regarding them moving up all the way to the top of the NFL draft. For what, you might ask? For possibly our franchise quarterback that we've been looking for since the Donovan McNabb days. And a lot of people are dubbing Carson Wentz, the guy from Division One AA, North Dakota State, to be the next big franchise quarterback in the NFL. And it seems as if Howie Roseman and Doug Peterson are in love with this kid as well. So much so that they're letting the whole NFL know that they really want him. Now to me, Carson Wentz as a quarterback, as an NFL player, I am not going to discriminate him from what school he comes from. Obviously, I am no NFL scout. But from what I've seen from Carson Wentz, I've seen really good things and I believe he will succeed in the NFL. But he still to me is a question mark as far as that. To me, you only trade up in any sport. You only trade up in drafts unless you really see and feel that that player you are trading up for is a franchise changing player. And we all know that quarterback is the most important position in football, period. That being said, I trade up for a guy like Andrew Luck, a guy like Jameis Winston. I am not sure if I trade up for a guy like Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is a big unknown. We all see the tape. We all see the highlights. Yes, but Carson Wentz played in one double A football. Yeah, there has been quarterbacks from that division that have come to the NFL and performed. I'll give you Joe Flacco, and I will give you Steve McNair, guys like that. But just like the sixth round quarterback or the third round quarterback, those things don't always happen. And are we as Eagles Nation ready to give up what it takes to move up to the top pick of the NFL draft, giving up our future, our youth, for a franchise quarterback? But clearly, I am not ready to give up assets that this team needs in order to move up to that top pick. Remember, guys, this team still has holes to fill. And it's not going to take one draft and it's not going to take two drafts for this team to get where it should be. But I am 100% down with drafting a future quarterback. But I think the way things are shaping up right now, I think the Philadelphia Eagles have a better shot of landing a guy like Jared Goff out of Cal over a guy like Carson Wentz. Now, I really don't want to talk in this video about where players are going because I plan on making my own mock draft. But with Jared Goff, it's all going to depend on where Carson Wentz lands. If he falls somehow from number two to Cleveland, we'll see how far he drops. If he does drop, the Eagles have a better shot of getting a franchise quarterback for the future. Obviously, the two spots you need to look at are number four with the Cowgirls and number seven with the San Francisco 49ers, who we all know is coached by our own former head coach, Chip Kelly. But I personally believe just by looking at different mock drafts, just by listening to different NFL people, I don't think Dallas is looking to draft a quarterback this year, which is a shame for in their part due to the fact that I don't think Tony Romo has many years left in him. But again, if this is true, this helps us immensely. And with the San Francisco 49ers, the key question is how much Chip Kelly and the San Francisco 49ers organization really trusts and believes in Colin Kaepernick going forward as their quarterback. If they feel as if he is, Jared Goff could land to us at number eight. But... I just have the feeling, us being the Eagles, Chip Kelly is going to bite us back right in the ass and pick Jared Goff. Just by looking at this draft with the top eight, I don't see anyone that I really want that can fall to us at number eight. The only real possibility would be Jared Goff. 
that to me would be the best thing possible that could happen to the Eagles come draft day. We have our future quarterback. Guys, Sam Bradford is here for one, maximum two years. He's not the answer at QB for the future. If you get a guy like Jared Goff, he will be put on under the wing of both Chase Daniel and Sam Bradford, as well as the coaching staff that we hired to develop quarterbacks. We got DeFilippo, we got Frank Reich, we got Doug Peterson. This current staff that we have in place is perfect for quarterbacks to excel. Thanks for watching, guys. That was just my take on the quarterback craziness that's been happening in Philly. We shall see what happens. I plan on having my mock draft a week before the, the draft, hopefully, if all things go well. Uh, on the